Hello everyone, welcome back to another oh, Pepsi Gamer Cat video. First off, I want to say thank you for all the support recently, and also thank you for over a K, or 1,000. Whatever you want to call it, thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. I already made the 1,000 subscriber special video, go watch that if you haven't already. So, we're, oh, we're back in Tinkercraft. And by the way, just quick explanation. Um, so I've been noticing that some videos don't actually start at the intro. That's because when PS4 recognizes that you're recording for over an hour, it kind of just starts deleting some of the footage, which is why some of these videos are going to have weird intros, because I accidentally get too confused and record for over an hour straight, which um, I'll try not to do. So last time, I got an iron shovel, and an iron axe, and an iron cleaver, which is so cool. And now I'm going to put some things in this chest. So I read heavy smelting last time, and we're going to need a lot of that grout stuff. But I kind of forget, how do I make a... What's the nether? Ardite and cobalt? There's custom ores? Amethyst bronze? Harvester's diamond? Diamond, of course, it's gonna be diamond. Cobalt. Wow. Harvest your netherite for Ardite? Blaze lava burning hotter than its regular counterpart is the answer to your melting. So we do need the blaze head things. Tier 4 melee materials. Blaze lava for required for tier 4 smelting. A crafting basin. Ooh, this is like the... So the queen slime. Wait, these things work with the the things work with that as well. All right, let's read this because I only need one more piece of information. Fill a casting basin with a seared brick block. Next, pour molten copper from a bucket onto the seared brick block. Let the copper cool completely. Fill a casting basin with a seared brick block. How do I make a seared brick block? I think it's seared brick. So, seared brick block. I need a casting basin. This is a seared brick block. Do I have enough to craft the casting? Okay, yes, I do. Casting basin, seared brick block. And no, I don't already have a casting basin. Casting basin. So we could fill it with this, but I'm gonna need some, I'm gonna need a bucket, first of all. So one, two, three. I'm also gonna need some coal as well, which is in this chest. I'm only gonna need one piece of coal, I think. I think. I don't know. Uh, the one time that I need, like, one of the most useless resources, raw copper, and I don't have any. So random, why do I need raw copper? Uh, it should be pretty easy, though. Uh, do I have a pickaxe on me? Yes, I do. Alright. Can't believe we've already started to get some of the more advanced modded stuff. Which is going to be pretty cool. It's still really confusing to me for a lot of these things, but, you know, we'll work around that. Does the iron shoel work on the slime? I think it does. Oh, hey. We don't actually have to go that far. Okay, nice to know. There we go. We only needed a bit of that. Alright, let's go back to the base. Doom, 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 doom. 
Doom, 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 doom. Oh, bro, base is all the way over here. I did not know it was that close to the slime area. And the trees, they finally grew. I'm so excited because I'm trying to turn this area into a forest so I can get more wood better. But, you know, hasn't been working out well. All right. So the first thing that I need to do is actually get into my inventory. Don't know why I was lagging for so long there. Crafting station. I'm going to need to craft one of you. Then I'm going to need to craft... Ah, wait, I actually don't need to craft anything. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yoink. Got a molten copper bucket. Eh. Yoink. Oh, uh, what is the... Um, I have a smeltery controller, which is, um, it looks pretty advanced. The brain of the smeltery. Well, I did remember it saying something about how I need a big open area. And right now our base is not a big open area. So I'm going to mine out this way? Or this way. I feel this way is going to be more uh, better. But we got to arrange some of the stuff in our base. Because right now, base is looking pretty bad. And the stuff is not arranged well enough for me to be able to put one of these furnaces in here. Alright, so we got to arrange all of this stuff now. So let's take all this, and let's move the bed as well. Basically, we're going to take all these stencil tables and everything, and we're going to move them over here. Alright, that's what's just going to happen. Then, I'm going to put this torch right here. Let's move. Ah, do we need to move the bed? I don't think so. So they requested a 7x7 seven seven area for it, right? So, let's just build one of those really quickly. Alright. Uh, where's some torches? I need them. Torches, torches, torches. There we go. So, one, two, three, four, five. So, I need to add two more onto that. It's actually perfect. Two more blocks. So, a seven by seven area is what they said in the book. So, that's what we need. I'm not gonna not ignore that this time. Because I happen to feel like that's gonna be pretty important later on. I don't know if they need it to be seven blocks high or anything. All I know is that they need a seven by seven area. Ooh, there's a cave. That's not very... Good. Um, that's not uh, good. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to go into this even more confused. Uh, let's just use this. I I'm sure the size doesn't actually matter that much, right? Hopefully it doesn't, because I we're gonna have to work with a seven by. One, two, three, four, five, seven by five. We're gonna have to work with that. And that is, um, it's not very good. All right, so I have messed with this in creative mode, and I know that once I place it down, I won't be able to replace it. So, right here, I think, would be the best. I don't know if that's too close to the bed or not, but. Here we go. Three, two, one, and boom! Alright. Looks like we need another block up here. I think we actually lucked out because this is the last thing we need over here. So, okay. We didn't actually need a 7x7 seven seven thing. We only needed this. The minimum amount. 
We'll increase it eventually. We'll increase the size of it eventually, but for now, this is good. We only needed one more block up. We're gonna need a lot of those seared bricks. So, I don't really know how to feel about that. But look at that, that fits in pretty goodly. Goodly, did I really just say that word? All right, one, two, three, and four. See, that works out perfectly. Now look at our base, right? Monk, bonk, look at that. So we need, is that another crafting basin? I wish we could mine those, we can't. I need this. Place it right here, correct? That looks like a casting basin. So I'm gonna say that's a casting basin. It's going to here. All. See if we can't find the rest of the blocks that we need. Um. Hmm. So we need a seared drain. I'm assuming that's what that is. No, that thing that we need is a seared tank, not a casting basin. So we need a seared drain and a seared tank. I have copper for the seared tank. So right now this seems pretty easy. We just need a bunch of sand and stuff. Sand, gravel, Copper. I have copper. I have the copper, right? Don't I? Do I not have the copper? Yeah, I have the two copper that we need. Actually, I do have some grout. Is, is it enough, though, is the question of the day. Doesn't matter, though. I'm going to start fueling it up anyway. Let's go see if it is enough, though. Doesn't matter anyway, I'm still gonna need that one piece of sand for that one piece of glass that we need. Alright. Casting table, seer drain. One, two, three, four. And one. Yeah, we have enough, we have enough. Do we have sand? Do we? We do. We really have everything that we need, huh? Except we need a lot. Of, uh, seared brick blocks. So, we aren't really done with it yet. Ah! We did get a showell, though. Which is pretty good. I'm gonna start mining this up. Hopefully these drop a lot of saplings for me. Yeah, you guys just need to dropped so many saplings because I am low on trees. Replant you. Go replant you. Go over here. Replant you. So we have enough. So anything, so any saplings that drop is profit. Sounds kind of weird, but oh, sapling. Right here. Alright, well, I'll, I'll return on that later. For now, though, let's use our showell and go get some sand. So we don't need a lot of sand, and we don't need a lot of uh, gravel. God, it's like already insta-mining sand. Like, wait, if I go back far enough to get that little speed boost, it will, like, wait, what? That is so cool. All the blocks just, like, go to me. That's pretty cool, man. So wait, is the hearts, like, the durability on it? I have no idea. Is 
Let's just get some more sand here. Mine out this little area. I think the gravel is going to be the hard part because I don't know any good gravel spots. And I also barely know where to get gravel besides like in the caves and stuff. Boom, 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 bam, 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 bop, beep, bop. Mining all that up. I think that's enough, especially because it gives you it all back. So, yay. All right, I have 15 oak logs. It's actually pretty good. Let's go back here, see if the saplings have dropped anything. Or if the leaves have dropped anything yet. Uh huh. Got two saplings. All right. I can work with that. More saplings, and more saplings over here as well. How many saplings in total? Nine. Oh yeah. Plus, if this forest really becomes big enough, we'll have a food source, just like with the apples and stuff. Planting away. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's go over here. Uh, okay, so we got this. Got some seared bricks. Now let's get some copper. Glass, copper, craft. Seer drain and seer tank is what we need. Remove. Seer tank, seer drain. Perfect. Look at this. This is beautiful. Wait, don't the traders trade grout? Get some of these. Oh. Let's go find the traders, because they're very common. They are extremely common. But just in case, I'm also going to start heading towards the cave as well. Just in case we don't find him. All right. Here. We're at the cave. Hopefully we can find some gravel here pretty quickly. Because I really do not want to go in the ocean for some gravel. All right. Oh, that's some, that's some gravel. All right, let's just mine this up. And who knows, we might be able to craft some flint shurikens as well. And you know how much I love those. All right, take all that. Let's go over to another place with gravel because it's gonna be a lot easier. So far, I don't see any. It's always not there when you need it. But then again, it also annoys you every time you try to like strip mine for stuff. But hey, that is pretty noticeable. So I'll be taking all that. Um, this Shoel has like no durability at all. Get some lapis, that. I mean, I'm kind of excited. Who knows? Let's actually go to the nether in today's episode. I really want to go to the nether today. And you want to bet I'm still keeping peaceful on, especially for the nether. Because imagine the modded nether. I'm not even good with, like, the original nether stuff.
Alright. Got that. This. Now I need clay. Oh yeah! There's more clay down here. There's more clay. Way more clay. Because we looked out right here. There's a... There's a lush caves. And it's not even like a lush cave, so there's just so much clay. Decently sure it's over here. Right. I have no idea. Yeah. Look, that is so much clay, that's gonna, uh give us grout for like the next five years. Look at that. Look at us go. Yeah, I'll just get a lot of grout. And we should be good to go. I don't know why the game's lagging so much. I'm gonna assume it's because of all the things. Or not all the things, but like all the entities when I do that. And I'm assuming the code that runs the thing for the items to come to me, like for example, whenever I break one of this. Is it only with gravel and stuff? Yeah, I'm assuming the code to do this is pretty laggy. Just because of how complex it would have to be. Actually, it's not that bad, but still, it's pretty bad. Because they have to code it in without command blocks. Because obviously this would be very easy. It's just like slash TP at E type equals item to at P or at S. But they can't really do that because, you know, they don't, I don't think they would use command blocks for something like this. So they would have to code that in. And you could very much tell if they were using command blocks, because it would just instantly go to you. So... Actually, wait, this glass staircase is actually kind of useful. Alright. It's actually pretty cool. Alright. Uh, we're gonna have enough to get just a ton of grout, I think. Um... But I don't have that much coal. Yeah, that is definitely a ton of grout. I don't know how much that's going to craft in terms of seared brick blocks. But I know it's going to be a lot. And I'm excited. So wait, do we need lava to power it? I would assume so already night 18 days so far we've played this that's uh 19 now that's pretty to impressive oh uh, i might actually want to save my coal so here let's half this but give the majority to and just throw it in there get some grout smelting what about this other furnace for this other furnace, I think I'm just going to use wood. This should be enough to smelt this. Then we'll keep the other wood for chests, because we are kind of running low on storage here. So wait, what's the difference between like a normal crafting table and a crafting station? There doesn't appear to be any difference. Is the difference just that, like, the crafting station is what you need to craft these? Because I'm decently sure you can craft those with this, right? Oh, hey, I can craft four flint shurikens. What poor mob is going to be absolutely killed today? First mob I see him throwing all my flint shurikens at. Oh, unlucky you, cow. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Wait, they, like... Oh, they just 
drop as like an item. Ooh. Ah. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, that's cool. Flint shurikens are definitely one of my favoritable items, I would say. Definitely one of my most favorites. We'll put these things in here. Searing tank. Hmm. Hmm. Eh. Eh. Yeah. All right then. I see how it is. Sky slime ball. I need all. Okay, we really need to go to the Nether. Which means that yes, I am going to have to use my diamonds. But it is for a very good cause because I do know where to get some obsidian. Because I passed the ruined portal in a few episodes ago. We'll still have four diamonds, so hopefully we can make some smeltery stuff with that. I really want to make a diamond cleaver if possible. Because I think that would be cool. Especially because I really love the modded weapons in this mod. Because most of the time with like modded weapons and stuff, it's just like, you've crafted the god sword. It can one shot any mob and you win instantly. It's like, as soon as you craft this one thing, you just win. But I feel like with this mod, it's much more balanced. In a way. To where, like, you actually have to earn for your stuff. Because most of the time, it's like, do these super hard things to get a weapon that can one-shot any mob. Go, like, kill the wither to get this thing that can one-shot any mob. It, the Super Ray Gun 9000. Yeah, okay, we're gonna need you. Because you sell, you don't, you in particular don't sell blaze heads. But you also sell searing lava, or blazing lava. I don't know what any of this means. Raw netherite blend. That sounds like one of those protein shake videos. What's good guys, today I'm going to be trying out the raw netherite blend. Coming straight from the underworld. <laughs> It just like breaks the blender, it's just all gone. Alright guys, let's try our 100% real netherite blend. Mmm, protein. I've actually forgot that there's a village over there. We might need it, but I don't really think villagers are going to be that useful in this mod pack. Did I really just bring these items over here? Like, I was just like, yeah, let's go. Guys, look at my diamond pickaxe. Eh. Why did I do that? It's so stupid of me. Why did I bring this? Attack! It didn't do anything. Alright. Diamond pickaxe. I actually forgot how long it takes to mine obsidian. It's not that long, but it's still a tedious task. One, two, gonna get our third piece here, three, ooh, accidentally mined some netherrack, four, alright, five, and on a completely unrelated topic, I've just now heard about, like, the bots on YouTube. Like, the, the hate bots, the rage bait bots. I forget what their group's called, but... They're pretty annoying. Like, if I see them on my channel, I'm just gonna ban them. I don't think I want that stuff on this channel.
So yeah. But I just saw them recently because I've been watching Penguin Zero and like all of the replies in his comment section are just these bots. And it's kind of funny, but it's kind of not funny because I actually wanted some normal replies. And all I see is, who asked plus my content is better than Penguin Zero's. And it's so funny to see these. I've never clicked on their channel, I've never looked at their channel, but I know just they're like bots. And I've read the replies on it, and apparently they only have like one or two videos. And they're not even that good. But anyway. That's just kind of annoying. I don't know why they get so much subscribers, too. How do you subscribe to these guys? They're saying, like, the most <laughs> offensive stuff in the world. I'm assuming all their subscribers are bots as well. If they can make bots to comment on videos, they can also make bots to subscribe to their channel. I'm sure there's something behind that. Uh, do I have a flint and steel? Okay, no, I have to go back to my base. I don't even know why I'm here. Got lost off track here. But yeah, it's kind of funny to see how these bots have pretty much taken over the YouTube comment section. It's kind of funny how YouTube banned the word, like, kill for monetized channels. But they don't ban these, uh, obviously botted accounts that are literally just screaming racial slurs in every single comment section. It's kind of funny, but it's also kind of not funny, because, you know, why well, can once again, I said, like, I did want a normal comment section. Oh, uh, do you have blaze heads? Let's see. You don't. Raw? Rose gold. Queen slime blend. What are the que queen slimes? I'm gonna figure out what they are eventually. Might just be in the nether. So is this where all the custom ore is gonna be? Like in the nether and stuff? Also, also on a completely unrelated topic. I had a bit of extra mine coins left after buying this mod pack and I decided to go see what were the cheapest ones because after the series is finished I plan to do another one. Um, so I basically, I bought another mod thing, I'm not going to tell you guys what it is because that's going to ruin the next series that I plan to do, but I saw so many like skin packs of the digital circus and stuff. I didn't expect there to be that much, but there are so many. Like there's just so many. Like the skin packs in general are just cringe. So I don't really look at them because most of the time it's just like dark demons RGBT Q or something like that. I don't know. I barely go on the marketplace. It's very rare if I do go there. The unscaven lands of the marketplace in Minecraft. I remember the days when the olden days when they were called tokens. They actually are called tokens on my version at least. Right, there's our nether purtle. Purtle? There's our nether purtle. Alright, we have another purtle. I'm gonna light the nether purtle now. Boom! Look at that. Oh, bro. What? That is so weird. Wait, why is that? That is so weird. It makes, it makes it look like it's just like not there. That is very, very weird. And now for the 20th day on this series, I am finally gonna go to the nether, which is pretty cool. 
30. I have this also blend 30. No, 60. How many can I craft? 15! That's a lot. Alright. Bonk, bonk. Bonk, 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 bonk. Is that enough to start using it? Or do I need to do the full outline thing? There we go. Look at that. Three. Three. I want to get the... Eh, it looks like we're not going to be able to do it right now. But I will be able to do it later. Let's go see what nether spawn we got. But before we do that, I'm going to put everything that's not useful to me in this chest. I'm going to put this, these in here as well. Basically everything that I see as useful. Because just in case I die in there, I don't want to, like, lose all of my stuff, you know. I only want to lose some of my things. So we'll replace everything with slightly worse things. I'm not sure I'm going to need a shovel in the end or this axe. Alright. We are now in our weakened state. So let's go to another. Hopefully be a good spawn. But chances are we're going to spawn in a Basalt Delta nowhere near Bastion. And this looks promising so far. Okay, I'm going to go this way. Oh, we spawned in a... This is a good spawn. Um... Alright, I'm going to try to remember these coordinates and not stray too far out. I'm gonna try to find some of this ore. Oh, bro, we spawned on like a weird island. That's so weird. Got some quartz. No new ores yet, though. So, who knows? Maybe they're just like really rare. Really rare, I see. Uh, so far, we're seeing all the normal ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, I almost fell off there. That would have been pretty bad. Glowstone. Do we need glowstone? I don't know. I don't think we do. Yeah, we're not seeing... Any custom things yet but I think I see some and you want to bet I do oh there's two custom things one right over here as well it's like in the lava all right do I really want to run the risk of mining this with an iron pickaxe and it not dropping no I'm gonna go get my diamond pickaxe Okay, we have a good nether spawn, so I can go get all my stuff. Not all my stuff, because I'm too lazy to get all my stuff, but... Uh, let's go. Jesus, that is a tall tree. Oh my... We can clutch on this, right? There we go. Okay, where's the nether portal? There is no way that I can get lost this fast. Record time and getting lost. Oh, uh, another portal is this way. Right? Because that 500 coordinate seems... Yep, okay. Then I say that 500 coordinate seems pretty off. I don't remember that. All right. Don't tell me we spawned like somewhere different. Okay, we didn't. I know that happens sometimes with bedrock just because bedrock is weird. Nice thing that that didn't happen this time. All right. So, uh, let me get a diamond pickaxe here. Yeah. And actually, I'm gonna bring that spyglass with me. It'll be pretty cool. Oh, 
Ugh. All right, going in here. Crouch. All right. So it's this way, right? I'm also gonna bring some of these. Oh, bro. I'm so close to the edge right now. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm gonna bring one of these so I can clutch with it if I need to. Hopefully you can use it on normal netherrack and just not like the blue ones. Because if you can only use it on the blue ones, then uh, I'm kind of garfungled. Okay, so here's some custom ore. This is not the blue one. God, it just feels like this isn't going to drop, is it? It did. Raw Ardite. Isn't that the stuff that's like the same thing as netherite? Ooh. I am very, very intrigued. Got three of them. I want to find the blue one. I saw some of the... Yep, yep. There's some blue stuff right here. Let's mine this. Mine it up. So if I am right, I think the diamonds can mine out anything, right? So do we need the big furnace to smelt this? We'll find out once we head back to base, but... I need... Way more of this stuff. Especially this Ardite. Because I'm usually sure it's the stuff that I read about that's like the same as Netherite. But wait, isn't that like a tier 4 thing? Don't I need like searing lava for that? Six. I have six of them, which is pretty cool. Is that everything? Okay, no, there's two things up here that I'm going to grab. There's barely any difference between using an iron one and a diamond one for this. Because look at them, look at us. It's the same speed. Here we go. Okay, I think that's the only two ores that are in here. Is that and the other one. The Ardite and the Cobalt. Isn't the Cobalt what I need for the new armor? Let's go back here. And go to the nether portal. Oh, oh, oh. See if we can't just use it with the normal smelter. Like smelter, I'm gonna explode. Oh, okay. Wait, I need to be prepared. Where's my copper tins? Where are they? I need them. I need the copper tin. Okay. But like, this is a molten iron can. How do I, like, dispense of the iron? Eh. Can I put it in here? Can I put it on here? Looks like we're gonna make some iron stuff. I'm gonna make one iron thing. Let me just get some of that. I have a stone tool handle. Why well, don't I have an iron tool handle? Let's actually make an iron tool handle. Best Tinkerer in the World award goes to me because I made an iron tool handle and it's actually pretty good. All right, sand cast, got a spyglass, and now we have an empty copper can. Beautiful. Eh. Put some ardite in there. Eh. Do I need some on the ground? Oh, I never thought of that. I never thought of putting them on the ground. I actually forgot about that, because doesn't it say to put some on the ground in the picture, too? Let's get some of that. And there's more in here. It's 
also more in here. So that's good. Um ten. So that should be enough to fill up the floor. Because we only need nine for the floor, so good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Can we now interact with these? That's like not normal for you to be doing that. Oh hey, that's not very nice. Smeltery controller. Eh. Bonk. What is this? Raw Ardite block? I want some raw Ardite blocks. We need more raw Ardite blocks in my life. What am I talking about? There we go. We just need a lot more grout. So, that's not, that's not, uh, good. I'm gonna need a lot more coal, a lot more everything. I actually only need a bit of it. Which is cool. I can actually craft the last part of this. One, two, three. One block up on the last layer. Look at that! We're actually 11 seared blocks off of furnace. Wait, what? Oh, that's trippy. Why is it not- why is the red outline not over there? That is so cool. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next episode. I think I'm actually gonna record two episodes today because I really wanna do this.